Hi guys, Andy here, and welcome to The House Abandoned. I am very excited to play this game, actually. Uh, okay, there we go. driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Uh, okay, so we gotta type to the computer. I like the music, it's actually really nice. Check. Glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Uh, re. No. The note is from your dad and reads Hi, son. Hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Press any key to continue. Any key. Oh, sorry, I have to wait. You are sitting in the car, parked in the driveway. You have taken a note and key from the glove box. Ah. Uh, no, you idiot. My space door is actually... It gets stuck for some reason. You get out the car and stretch your legs. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the back of the house. Go to backyard. Sorry, I don't understand, of course. Uh, Go around back. Okay, how do I get to go to the backyard? Leave front door. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, um. Go to front door. Oh my god. Okay, um. Enter house. The door is locked. Use key. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Open door. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Turn on light switch, I guess. Turn light on. A click. And nothing. There is no power. This note should say how to restore it. I already fucking know, okay? Um, leave house. 
You head back outside. The house is grand. Blah, 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 blah. you don't understand. God damn it. Major, how do I leave the house? I need to go to the backyard. Enter yard. There we go. You walk around to the yard. You walk through to the yard. You spent a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips good memories look around you see a generator on the back wall of the house go to generator You are next to the generator. Turn on generator. You switch the generator on and it whirs to life. The house is still dark. Okay. You go back around to the front of the house. The house is grand. Is there any way to like speed it up? This is pretty kick ass actually. The hallway is now brightly lit. There's access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Uh, go to living room. You go to the living room. This spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of good time in here playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. Uh, let's look around. There is nothing here of interest. Go to hallway. You go back into the hallway. I like the grainy look of it, to be honest. Enter kitchen. The kitchen is tidy and well kept. There is a door to a utility room. But otherwise, it's just a kitchen. Uh, open it. No, hold on. Go to the utility room. Uh, okay. Uh, that's a kitchen. 
board, you go back to the hallway. The hallway is now brightly lit. Of course, same stuff over and over again. Um, go upstairs. You make your way upstairs. The stairwell landing. There is a bathroom and two bedrooms. Yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls. Images of happy, oh, happy times. Uh, let's go to bathroom. You enter the bathroom. You're in the bathroom. Oh, excuse me. There's not much to note, but it's all in good order. Okay. The bathroom. Go to uh oh, god damn it. Go to hallway. You return to the hallway. The stairwell landing. sister's room. You go into your sister's room. You enter what used to be Jennifer's room. It's empty now and has been for years. It's remarkably dust free considering Look up brown. Considering what? It's completely empty. Oh, duh. Go to my room. Okay, um. Go to hallway. I'm incredibly tired for some reason. I uh, go to my room. Oh shit, I forgot to hit space. Damn it. Go to my room. You go into your bedroom. You enter your old bedroom. So many good memories in here, and it's been preserved so well. Oh, on the desk is a gift wrap box. Open box. You open the present excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer. A Futuro 128K plus 2. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Oh, okay, so we're working on our computer. Um, turn on computer. Okay, um, Set up computer. You untangle the cables and set up the computer. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There is a game here too. 
uh, play game. You put the cassette in the computer. That scared the fuck out of me. Oh shit! I almost peed myself. <laughs> you pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. The glove box is closed. Well, open the goddamn glove box. There is a note and a key, both of which you take. Uh, read note. You don't re recognize the handwriting. It says, get out, 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 get out. The car, get out the car, get out the car, get out the car, get out the car. Get out. No. Oh. You are slumped in the car. You have a note clutched in your hand and a key in the other. You need to get out, but you don't really want to. Um. He reluctantly hits at the car. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Uh, how do we get around the yard? Rock around. No, no, no. It was go to yard, right? You step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown and weeds travel up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note needing to look around. Okay, let's look around. There's an old generator next to you. Uh, turn on generator. There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. Okay, that's it. Set the yard. You go back to the front of the house. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. Okay, um, enter house. The house is locked. Okay, use key. You unlock the door, the click of the hurts. The click of the lock hurts it here. Okay. Enter house.
pitch black, but your senses are punished no more by the smell. Oh, punished more by the smell of stale air and damp. This could be less inviting. The note burns in your hand. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Okay, let's check the note again. It's too dark. Oh, right, I gotta turn on the light. Uh, turn on the light. You switch the lights on, but wished you had it. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are... Damn, I gotta take off my earphones back soon. Make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. Turn off the light. You can probably hear my phone actually. This was not where you felt present. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There is a kitchen and a living room. Okay, let's read the note. Sorry about that, my phone's going off. I got a lot of messages right now. Uh, I can't read the note, it's bleeding. Well, that's fucking great. Go to the kitchen. So there's someone presumably in the house, which might be us actually. Um, you go into the kitchen. Table tops are rusted metal and there is a carcass on the table. There is writing on the wall. And the utility room door has a red X painted on it. Uh, read writing. The numbers 1986 is written across the wall in what looks like blood. Oh! <laughs> that scared the absolute shit out of me. I just jumped. Ah, uh, okay. Open utility. No, wait. Go to utility. The doors. It, the door is locked. Something tells me that's a good thing. Oh, okay, I see 1986 on the wall. I was circling around it, but I think I have my mouse turned off. Um, I can't go... No, wait, uh... I wonder, uh, look at Carcass. You look closer, but can't tell what it is. Or what it was. Okay, that's awesome. Hey, the the eyes on the photos are scratched out. 
you step out to the hallway, your shoes are wet. You are still in the hallway. Someone is in the house. That someone has to be us, to be honest. The furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills a bit in your stomach. This is not a nice place. Um, check the note again. The note, always changing, now reads, get through this, oh, get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. There's a living room and adjacent, okay, so... Oh okay, I probably am gonna edit the shit out of this video because... It takes fucking forever to get through anything here. Uh... Go upstairs. You head up the stairs where the noise came from. Same but different. The behind the door, a phone starts to ring. You don't understand. Neither can he answer phone. You hear him answer. Voices fell out of the phone into the room. Whoever is in there should not be there. You need to hang up. Relief. That's actually kind of creepy, but I could not understand a single thing he said. Uh, the doors are all boarded up with the exception of your room. You have to get in. The pictures look different from before. The note trembles. The guilt is overwhelming. Uh... Go 
go to my room. Sorry, my keyboard is sticky. Go to my room. The door is not. Oh no, the door is bolted shut with a four digit combination. Not, okay. Enter 1986. Of course, you don't understand. Um, look at lock. Open door. The door is bolt bolted shut with a port. Grathy lock. The lock is rusted. Not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy. The note heavier. You grab the lock and can now input the code. Uh, 1986. The lock clicks open. Someone is behind the door. The doors are all boarded up with the exception of your room. You have to get in. The pictures look different. Oh, I'm just reading the same shit over and over again. Open door. You open the bedroom door. Go inside the room. Oh no, 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 wrong one. You enter the bedroom. It feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock re reads 9999. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tightly. Read note, okay. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haven't, you, oh, you haunt every step I take. Even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still, you punish me. I can be with you now. Uh, oh. There is nothing left to do. I'm consumed. I'm confused. This has to end now. Um, can I go to the person? Don't change the subject. You know what you have to do. There's nothing left to do. Kill yourself? I thought maybe you could talk to the person. You are pathetic. It was all your fault. 
แสนไม่ต้องเชื่อคุณรักคุณมีนิดขอให้ฉันจะทำอะไรก็ได้ไฟไฟไฟนั่นเอง Okay, that was the house abandoned, y'all. That was actually pretty neat. Uh, I enjoyed it. it. Scared the shit out of me with the sound every now and then. Uh, kind of a lackluster ending, but it was really fucking good. Um, I guess I'll see you all in the next video. Have fun, be safe, and enjoy yourself. Bye for now. <laughs>